In local matters, Arizona is putting coronavirus restrictions back in place. Governor Doug Ducey has ordered bars, gyms, movie theaters, and water parks to shut down for at least 30 days starting this week. All gatherings of 50 people or more are also prohibited. Ducey says this is essential to help relieve stress on the health care system. We want to slow the spread of this. We want to stop the spread. You, if you have not gotten this yet, you can avoid it. And we want to make sure that you have all the, the care and resources if you are in one of these uh, positions inside our hospital. And we also want to make sure... There are more than 79,000 cases of coronavirus in Arizona, and the state's death toll has topped 1,600. For more, let's bring in Jim Nitzel. He's the executive editor of Tucson Weekly. Jim, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Arizona is also seeing its highest level of COVID-19 hospitalizations since the pandemic began in March. How did the state get to this point? Well, you know, in March, it was uh, relatively well contained in Arizona. The cases were growing. Uh, in mid-March, we shut down the schools. The Governor Ducey shut down the schools. In As, as uh, the end of March approached and the cases were growing, we did a total stay at home. Uh, that lasted through the month of April. At the end of April, it was extended to about mid-May. And then Governor Ducey basically opened the floodgates and said, hey, we're going to uh, open up restaurants. We're going to open up bars. Uh, we're going to open up gyms and even movie theaters, although movie theaters didn't open because they didn't have anything to show. Uh, and then the cases simply began climbing. Uh, by the, the June 1, we had about 20,000 cases in Arizona. Uh, today, at the end of the month, we have about 80,000 cases in Arizona. So it's uh, certainly gotten out of control in the last month as more people have gotten out and resumed their normal uh, way of life. And Jim, as we mentioned, the governor has issued a new shutdown order. What are Arizonians saying about this? Well, you know, the governor uh, was very reluctant to do this. Uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, when uh, the headlines started appearing around the country that we had a major outbreak here, uh, the governor was very uh, pushed back against that and said things were under control. Uh, a week later, he showed up at a press conference with a mask. And uh, finally, last uh, yesterday, he, he moved forward with these other things. It's, it, it's, it's been a transformational uh, experience for Governor Ducey, and he's taking uh, these, these deeper steps. You know, there's a range of feelings among Arizonans. I think polling shows the majority of us uh, feel as though the opening uh, came a little too soon and they wanted to see uh, more places shut down to get a handle on this. However, there are plenty of people out there who uh, feel as though, as in other places in the country, wearing a mask is a imposition or a plot by the government or some such thing. Uh, they are saying they will not do this. The governor is trying to convince people that they should go ahead and do that. Uh, I think a lot of people are okay with what's happening, but there are, if you're a gym owner or a bar owner, you might feel differently. There's a, there's a gym owner in Scottsdale who is filing suit against the state saying that he should be able to keep his doors open, and this is an arbitrary step by the governor. Well, do people in Arizona trust their local and state leaders to keep them safe? Well, you know, I, I think uh, people in Arizona are a, a mixed bag on that front. And I think that, uh, you know, there's been efforts at the local level to encourage people to wear masks. And finally, when Governor Ducey allowed local authorities to start doing that, uh, the local authorities in, in many places said, begin, made masks mandatory, said you need to wear them when you go out in public. But enforcement is a whole nother question. Uh, I, I don't know that uh, folks in Arizona feel the government is is, is uh, doing enough, but, uh, you know, there are others who feel the government is doing too much. So it's, it's always a mixed bag. Yeah. Well, Vice President Mike Pence and White House Coronavirus Task Force Coordinator Dr. Deborah Burks are traveling to Arizona this week. What do we know about their visit and how is the White House working with Arizona's governor? The uh, vice president was supposed to be having any campaign event here in Tucson today, as a matter of fact, and, and that got canceled. The I think their plan now is for the vice president and Dr. Burks to meet with Governor Ducey and leaders in the hospital industry here to get a sense of what's happening here and, and 
I think we're hoping to find out what other additional help the federal government can bring to us. But, you know, the virus is not something that's going to attend to politics or, or listen to what government leaders say. Well, Jim, I also want to ask you about Carlos Ingram Lopez, a Latino man who died in April while in the custody of Tucson police. Why did it take the authorities two months to release the body cam footage of this incident? You know, this was a very tragic uh, incident that happened before the George Floyd uh, protest began across America, as you mentioned, back in April. And it did take a terribly long time for the Tucson City Council and even the chief of police to actually get a look at this body footage. Uh, I think the, the lower levels did not impress upon the chief of police exactly what had happened in this incident. They, they let him know there had been a death in custody, but they did not tell him the details. And the chief did not actually view the body camera footage until a couple of weeks ago, at which point he realized that there was a major issue here. He had reached out to the Tucson City Council members and let them know what was happening, as well as our, our mayor, uh, Regina Romero. Uh, and the entire investigation took a different tone at that point. We have uh, seen the officers involved in this uh, resign. Uh, they would have been terminated otherwise, is uh, what the chief said. The chief himself said there need to be major reforms in terms of who views these uh, body camera footages. He, he says uh, high-ranking officers need to review them uh, within 48 hours after uh, death in custody occurs in the future. And uh, there was a little bit of a delay even after the chief found out about it as the investigation uh, wrapped up and also uh, to give the opportunity of the family of uh, Carlos Ingram Lopez a chance to review the uh, footage as well. Uh, and so finally, after that had happened, the, uh, the chief and the mayor appeared. The chief uh, offered his resignation because he felt as though there were so many failures in this case. But the city council and the city manager want to keep him on the job. They feel he is a very progressive police chief. Uh, the city of Tucson introduced these uh, or adopted these uh, eight can't wait standards uh, very uh, early in the process. They had done that already before any of this happened. And uh, there's a sense that the, the chief is a progressive one, but was left in the dark on this as well. Hmm. Well, Jim, before we let you go, President Trump traveled to Arizona earlier this month where he visited the border wall. There's going to be some new construction on the wall in your state. What can you tell us about that project? Well, that progress, that project is continuing across our border with Mexico in, in different places. The president was here to look at uh, a uh, wall construction project in Yuma. Uh, and there's uh, more on the way, including a stretch that's going to go over one of our last flowing streams, the San Pedro River. A lot of people upset about this proposal because uh, our waterways are so delicate and so fragile here in Arizona, and the plan for this uh, uh, is basically to put some gates in underneath a fence and with the hope that that will open up when the river is flowing. Uh, but there's a, environmentalists do not see this as a very good idea at all. All right, Jim Nintzel. Jim, great to see you again. Thank you very much. And thank you for the opportunity.